Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about libraries. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so the question in question was, Frederick, why do coding interview interviewers ask me what type of libraries I am using? When I work at a big company, they usually have proprietary libraries and aren't uh, the other companies and not uh, and they and, and they have their own libraries aren't they nuts for using open source libraries for military contracts uh, nope they're probably not nuts for doing that uh, because it's like saying that isn't it nuts that the postal service doesn't check every package for bombs or drugs or you know the borders like the border patrols uh, or like uh, people like that why don't they check every car or truck or whatever because if they did that uh, we basically would grind our entire uh, the entire industry like all the economies and so forth to a halt because it would simply take too long so you have to do spot testing in order to find this find something it's extremely difficult uh, to write software today without using any type of open source libraries or anything like that the reason be it's not because it can't be done it is because it is the age-old problem of in this case it's security I'm assuming that you are uh, referring to uh, it's speed delivery speed versus security risk and so the way the industry is trying to solve that right now is by doing security evaluation automation with AI algorithms and things like that to find security holes in code and so forth and so forth uh, because the open source community is here to stay basically and it's here to stay for the same reasons as I said why most most companies have third-party companies helping them with different things in case you didn't think about that there are so many businesses who depend on other businesses to help them out with certain parts of the whatever product they're building or so forth if you're building cars like the secure thing would of course be if you built everything in the entire car within the same car manufacturing company that is not the case I can tell you for most of the car manufacturers they buy different parts of the vehicle from different vendors across the world and incidentally that's why the COVID situation in China did affect the car industry a little bit just a tiny smidge uh, or and more areas than that because they produce a lot of the lower level components in the vehicle and in many other stuff other things it's uh, the same reason why you have people who import food from across the entire world you simply cannot sustain a large scale high like modern way of working without dependencies or either you can but it's not going to be effective as an example take uh, JavaScript as my favorite example if you were to remove JavaScript development as like the open source community it would pretty much I, I, I'm not I don't think it's gonna it would kill the entire industry like the entire usage of the language but it would kill the vast majority of people who could work within the industry and the overall development process would slow down to a halt because most of JavaScript is open source based and the idea that open source equals security problem is actually not true whatsoever in fact it's actually more likely that you will find security problems in open source because you're actually building a community and being transparent about the software within whatever you're using it's the say it's the same similar sort of thing um, in uh, companies that I've worked with where like the historically the software that is being used has been confidential they don't want to share the source code because they view it as their intellectual property but the reality is that uh, in order for them to uh, the, the, if you don't open source things 
Well, you can sustain that, and many companies are sustaining it. But then at the same time, if you're going to control every package in your entire chain without ever depending on something outside of yourself, you're going to have to write it all by yourself. And some software guys, in case you haven't thought about it, takes years, if not decades, to build. It's an enormous investment. There's, that's one of the reasons why the Linux, uh, cur like the Linux operating system, as an example, is one of, if I would say, it probably is the most dominant operating system there is in computing, because they've already done most of the heavy lifting, a lot of the heavy lifting. That if you were to do that as a single company, just because you're afraid that there's something in there that you're not, you can't trust, well, then you're pretty much gonna, well. It's the same thing if you if you ever try to build a game, like a computer game or something like that. Well, then it's really down to okay, build yourself a graphics engine. So, sure, you can absolutely take the stance that open source, uh, in in this case for military contracts, is something that you don't want to do. But the reason why people ask you about what libraries you are using for coding is because they want to figure out how in tune you are with one part what's relevant in the community like what are the main tools because different libraries have different relevancies so an example would be in in uh, say android development there are certain packages that are very popular and like very high profile uh, same thing for javascript etc etc and then like net so forth and there are like every single community has like their own little ecosystem of like high usage very popular uh, third party dependencies and open source libraries that most people use and showing all like when you talk about that's what i do at the very least when i talk to candidates and i ask them about what are their fa their favorite packages based on how they talk and what they answer i can immediately tell how experienced they are because i know if because if they have no libraries or they don't use anything like that and at the same time i sort of get the sensation that they're not very experienced i know that they don't know all that much about software development because they have never faced off against a problem where a open source library does help them and if they're using all kinds of weird libraries, well, maybe that's something that is would be a problem because a lot of security issues and so forth that you've seen in recent time is due to the fact that people are just consuming libraries instead of knowing when you should use a library and when you should not. And that's actually one of those questions that I like to ask from the senior profiles you know, kind of ask them, okay, well, how do you think about adding dependencies to your project? When do you add a dependency and when do you write the solution yourself? And as an example, if we talk JavaScript, do you have any idea how difficult it would be for us to develop, say, an SBA without any of the SBA frameworks that like are basically all open source today? It would probably not be possible, like it can be done, but the, the requirements on skill from the developers would be so high that the average front-end developer would not be able to do it. And so you always have that way of, are you going to write the whole thing yourself or you like use something that somebody else owns and by the by the by guys, just because you pay somebody to give you a third party library doesn't mean that they wrote it all themselves either. Uh, that's something that the military, for example, is going to be able to tell you because a lot of the security problems that most of the proprietary software that you are using have some third party dependency themselves. And most of the supply chain attacks that you've heard about is due to that fact, even for the stuff that you pay people to give you. And so this dependency of like different open source libraries or it doesn't even have to be open source it can be another company that sells us sells something and then they have a hacker in, in, on you know in their midst you can't you cannot fix this problem by just saying that oh i'm just going to use software from a trusted source or a trusted company because at the end of the day if you did not write it yourself somebody else has to be trusted to have done a good job and that's why i tell people you can't avoid this problem by just not depending on anybody, but what you can do is to actually make sure that you only have a dependency to people that you know that you can trust. So what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why you're getting questions about what libraries you are using is because that's a very good way to figure out how well do you know your own community. 
so which programming type you are doing and so forth is going to factor in here because the libraries are I mean every software developer is sort of doing the same thing especially in web uh, which means that some libraries are very common and everybody sort of knows about them and some libraries are less common so by asking you what you know and what you use I get the sensation of who are you like what types of work are you doing and what types of libraries do you use and the reason why not everybody is like rolling their own library and just writing everything from scratch is because it's going to take a a ton of time to do so and but depending on the project you might have to invent your entire own company on top of the thing you want to do and that's going to might be years of development before you can actually do the thing you want to be able to do and so sure you can make the argument that if you want to be super super secure in everything then yeah you have to write everything from scratch yourself but guys it's it's like saying that you can't trust the heating in your like in your house and you need to start you know you need to start making fire by yourself because you can't trust the people who put in your like uh, your heating system uh, sure you can have that stance if you're super 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 paranoid but it's usually a better and more pragmatic approach to simply make sure that you can trust the people who are doing their part in the chain of things that has to happen have a great day